Here's the 101 on rate hikes. The Fed exists to number one, ensure a strong job market, and number two, to keep inflation in check. These two objectives are called the Fed's dual mandate because a strong job market and stable prices tend to mean a happy economy. The Fed's main tool for maintaining these goals is the federal funds rate. It's the overnight interest rate banks follow when they borrow from each other. By the way, banks borrow from each other a lot. Banks constantly have money coming in through deposits and loan payments and going out through withdrawals and new loans. Some days, too much money leaves the bank and the bank has to take a super short-term loan from another bank. Therefore, increasing this rate has an immediate effect on how banks think about interest rates for their products. When banks have to pay higher interest rates on their own borrowing, they tend to bake those higher rates into products they offer, like mortgages and business loans. The Fed funds rate is also connected to the prime rate, which is the rate that banks charge their most creditworthy customers like customers who have high credit scores. The prime rate is the basis for rates on a bunch of different loans, like adjustable rate mortgages, credit cards, and personal loans. So in a vacuum, a higher Fed funds rate leads to higher rates on loans in general, and that makes it more expensive to borrow money. At the same time, a higher Fed funds rate could lead to higher interest rates on savings accounts, and higher yields on more conservative assets such as bonds. This incentivizes saving your money because you're potentially earning a higher interest rate on your cash. So essentially, you're getting paid more to save money and it costs more to borrow money. Put that all together and Fed rate hikes could mean more saving and less borrowing. Or to put it differently, more saving, less borrowing, less investing and less spending. And all of that could mean slower growth ahead. So going back to that dual mandate, the Fed wants to hike rates because it's not achieving part two of its dual mandate, keeping inflation in check, although arguably the job market is the hottest it's been in a while. In the Fed's mind, high inflation is the biggest risk to the economy, and the solution may be increasing that federal funds rate just to pump the brakes on growth. So that's the 101 on rate hikes and why they matter to you.